Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Today, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the great father and son quarrel arc. It's the chapter where Hanma Baki really surprised his father for the first time. But what exactly did Baki do to achieve this? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki volume collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts in the middle of the father and son fight. Despite his Japanese nationality, he became a renowned grandmaster of a Chinese martial art called Yukun, or Taiki Ken. Mr. Kenichi Sawai wrote these words in the Taiki Shinsei Kenpo Guide. If you maneuver your hand as soft as a baseball pitcher would toss the ball and concentrate your strikes to the opponent's face, those will be your key to victory. Once you strike his eyes and nose, tears and blood will start pouring out, making him unable to see or breathe properly. Then we see Hanma Yujiro slapping Baki in the face with an extremely fast speed. The spectators then commented. Wow, the sound. Did you hear that? What a horrible sound from a slap. Ouch. This is such a short fella. He sent him flying from there? That's more than 30 feet or so. Wah, holy shiz. He's coming this way. His father is a true ogre. He's so big. Then Baki shouted. It friggin' hurt. All of a sudden, the son of ogre jumped from his position. And he tried to punch his father. Unfortunately, Hanma Yujiro just countered with another slap to the face. The spectators then commented. He got him again. He caught him in the air. So cruel. Hey ogre. If my words can reach you, ogre. I'm so glad for you. Aw, oh, gross. No way. What kind of screwed parental relationship do these two have? Dapo continued. Your dreams are about to come true. You loved him and kept on loving him. Even if you were away, you kept longing for him. Brought him up. Raised him to your liking. After such a long time. The day has finally arrived. Heh. Well, I'm a little bit envious. This probably was the natural reaction of a human body after receiving an unexpected attack. A burning feeling of dejection due to your own helplessness. But the young man had to decide with his eyes flooded in tears, that this stopped being a petty argument between father and son. I'm going to fight to the death. The crowd then commented. He's getting up. Oh shiz, he's really getting up. The dude is bleeding a river. Somebody call an ambulance. However, Han Mabaki just sneezed out the blood from his nose. He then said. All right. Let's rumble. He'll keep fighting. Baki got up, and he'll keep fighting. What an amazing fighting spirit. Ah, he stopped bleeding all of a sudden. Hemostasis. The young man stopped the torrent of blood that was profusely flowing from his nose. But the question remains. Is it possible for this to happen in real life? If some bleeding happens in a fighting event, they'll treat the wound with an hemostatic substance used as first aid. One of the key ingredients of this substance is adrenaline. When adrenaline hydrochloride is applied to the wound, the blood vessels contract, creating a hemostatic effect. But the most effective way to create the hemostasis effect inside your body is to make your fighting spirit explode. The intense emotion of the critical moment finds its way through the brain, accelerates the secretion of adrenaline, activating the natural effect of adrenaline inside the body that creates a remarkable hemostatic effect. There was an example of an excellent coach in real life that kept provoking his players mentally. This was so they could burn their fighting spirits, improving their morale, and stopping their bleeding. The ogre then said. Heh. Still haven't gone down for the count. Down for the count? Get real. Then Hanma Baki jumps toward Hanma Yujiro once more. Unleashing an extremely strong kick to the family jewels. However, his father managed to easily block it. So Baki followed up with a kick to the face, but Yujiro blocked it once again. Without any hesitation, Hanma Baki unleashed a large barrage of strikes. The spectators then commented. It's too fast. I can't see what's happening. What are they doing? How can they be so fast? This is cool. 
I can't see a thing. I can only hear them. Like a thousand jets, but their limbs are gone. Dapo then thinks. I'm so glad. I'm so glad for you, Baki. Go on, and play around. Play around as much as you want, Baki. A father that can play with you like this. There's no one else in this world, but him. The crowd continued. Wow, check it out. No freaking way dude. No. Their arms and legs. Wow. I can't see a thing. I only heard a buzz. Unbelievable. Too fast for the eyes man. There's no way a human can move that fast, there's no way. Far out man. What's going on here? I can't see their arms and legs. After unleashing the barrage of strikes, Baki tried to back off. Takigawa then said. Hey Kanzaki, I owe you one. Hey. The cooperation between the police forces and the military has been successful so far. They have been doing an excellent job. Yes sir. I believe we can run this event without civilian casualties. This is what I call running the show in the government. You are giving me too much credit sir. Yujiro then thinks. The techniques he pulled by using the Hanma blood. Hmm. So far so good. Well, using fighting moves from sports. What else can you expect out of that? All of a sudden, Han Mabaki sensed something. He then said. Ah, he's watching. In that case. Let's show him something. Oh. What? Hmm. Something he will recognize. Then Baki raised his hands. He's a little far from here. But still. With his eyes. Well. I'm sure. He will be able to see it. Then Baki did his Triceratops stance. The ogre Hanma Yujiro is extremely surprised shouting. Whoa. What the hell? Only an experienced master of Shoki can. Can deceive your eyes. By bringing a real beast to life. Simulating its appearance. But the audience couldn't believe their eyes. When they suddenly saw a creature they have never seen alive. Yeah. The fiercest opponent of the T-Rex. Ready to attack. Even the crowd is surprised shouting. Dude, the monster's huge. Look at the horns. A triceratops. Holy shiz, a huge dinosaur. Heh. That's the spirit son. And then. The prehistoric man. He suddenly felt a familiar atmosphere when he saw them fighting. From about 8 miles away. Maybe. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Hanmabaki's Triceratop fist can affect the strongest being alive? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujaber, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Sean. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about Baki's Triceratop Fist versus the strongest being alive. Stay tuned.